Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for Proverbs chapter 31. <clears throat> bless the hearers and bless your word to us, Father. Help us to learn and understand and receive and grow in wisdom and the fear of the Lord, Father, which is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him. What my son and what the son, what my and what son of my womb and what son of my vows. Do not give your strength to woman, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink strong wine, nor princes intoxicating drink. Let's say drink and forget the law and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Amen. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Interesting. Open your mouth for the speechless, in the case, in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous wife, for her worth is far more, far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax, and willingness works well with her works with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservant. She considers a field and buys it, and from her profit she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good, and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff, and her hands hold the spindle. She extends her hands to the poor, yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for our household is clothed with scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Lord, thank you for the book of Proverbs. Thank you, God. Bless, bless those that hear. Bless my family, Lord God, which is mainly for them, which is, which is, this is mainly for them. And uh, just thank you, God. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your word. And uh, thank you for your grace. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, Lord God, in which whom all life uh, consists. And um, there's no other way to get to the Father. There's no other way to get to heaven, Lord God, except it's through the sacrifice of, the, of his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father unless he comes through him. Oh, Lord, God, help us to know Jesus, to experience Jesus, to experience the cross in our lives, and to understand the gospel well, Father God, so that it can transform us and renew us, Father God, and bless us, Father God. Oh, Father, have mercy on us all, God, by your grace. Oh, Father God, and faithfulness, Lord. And we just praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.